We're going to look at Euler form of complex numbers. If you read your textbook or a lot of the videos online, they use the cosine I sine. So I'm going to start by writing that out. So a lot of people call it cis form, which stands for cosine I sine. And in this, the best way to think about this is visually. So I have a example right here, one minus I. So go over one. And minus I mean go down one on the uh, imaginary axis. So this is the imaginary axis. And this one is the real axis. And our number would be plotted right here, our complex number. And this would be one minus I, which is very similar to one comma negative one. The only difference is we're using complex numbers. So our notation looks different. And this number, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it to polar form. Now you should have done this several times before. Polar form, you want to think about a distance. We're going to usually use the letter R for radius. And then there's an angle, which of course we're going to use theta. So I intentionally chose a very easy problem right here to consider. So R is going to be the square root of A squared plus B squared where a is one, let's see, where can I write this? One minus i, you want to think of this as a plus bi. So for us here, a is going to be one plus, now b oops, is negative one, i. So you can see a is one and b is negative one. So to get the radius, we got square root, one squared plus negative one squared. <clears throat> you square both of these, you get positive one plus positive one. So our radius is gonna be square root two. So that's the radius part. Now we're gonna look at the angle. I intentionally chose a very nice angle here. This angle, if I zoom way in, is halfway between zero and negative pi over two. So if you just think about this right here, we're halfway between zero and negative pi over two. So our angle is gonna be pi over four. So I'm gonna write that down here. There are gonna be times where you can't just look at negative pi over four. There's gonna be times where you can't just visually look and see what your angle is and what you're gonna do then. Uh, we know that tangent theta is, normally we use y over x. Now, what is y and what is x? Well, if we look up here at the top of the screen, x is a, so on the bottom we got a, y is b, and how do we solve for theta? Theta is tangent inverse of b over a. So there are certain times where this won't work. Obviously, when a is zero, that we're gonna have problems. Now, good news is when a is zero, what happens, if you think about it, that means your x coordinate is zero, so your number is either up at the top on the positive imaginary axis or down at the bottom, and that just depends on what your y coordinate is. So if it's on the bottom, it's gonna be negative pi over two. If it's on the top, your angle is gonna be positive pi over two. So if a is zero, you're either plus or minus pi over two. There's gonna be another thing that's tricky, tangent inverse, only gives you angles between the two angles I listed. It only gives you angles over here. So what are we gonna do when our point is on the left side? So what does it mean to be on the left side? Your x coordinate's negative, which corresponds to the letter B. So this one right here works as long as A is not zero and as long as b is positive. When b is less than zero, what you're gonna to have to do is add a half rotation. Which means that theta is going to be pi plus, that's our half rotation, plus tan inverse b over a. All right, so that's how you can get your angle if it's tricky. I'll go ahead and recompute the angle we had right here. 
we got tangent inverse B over A, which is tan inverse. B is negative 1 over 1. So this is tan inverse of negative 1. This can be a little bit tricky. So if you have a calculator, you can just type it in. Uh, if you don't, you want to think about this as things, values you know on the unit circle. So this can be 1 over square root 2 divided by 1 over square root 2. Those are two values on the unit circle. And we've got to figure out where the negative actually is. And that negative is going to be applied to, uh, we got to decide is it x or y. Um, and actually, let's just look at the picture. <laughs> you can see real quick, we're in quadrant, this picture right here. We're in quadrant 4, so that means our y is negative. So you can apply it to the numerator right here. And hopefully with this, uh, if these are numbers that are familiar, you'll know exactly where this is on the unit circle. I said the y was negative and that those values are right there. You got 1 over square root 2, negative 1 over square root 2. And this should tell you your angle theta is negative pi over 4. Okay, so that's how to convert. Uh, that's Euler form. That's part A. It's a good time to take a little break. We'll do part B in the next video.